Yay! You have finally found your ideal home and you are officially in contract for the purchase of your new home. But what now? The closing timeline on your new home can seem a little confusing, especially if you've never done it before. But it doesn't have to be. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. Today I'm going to clarify the nine basic steps of the closing timeline. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what and when to expect during your closing process. So let's dive in. The first thing you're going to do is make your earnest money deposit. This deposit is typically held by a mutual third party, such as an attorney or a title company. In Florida, you have 72 hours from the time that the last party signed your fully executed contract to make this deposit. Your next step is to get a home inspection. You should hire a qualified, licensed home inspector to inspect everything inside and out. A separate pest inspection is also necessary. Depending on the age of the home and certain structures, you may also need a four-point inspection in order to obtain homeowner's insurance, and your home inspector can provide this for you. Typically, you'll have 10 to 15 days to complete all your inspections. However, you're not going to want to wait. You want to do these right away, just in case you have to negotiate repairs or make adjustments to your purchase contract within that inspection period. Which brings us to our next step. Most of our Florida purchase contracts are written as is with the right to inspect. So what happens if your inspector finds a major issue and you have an as is contract? In this case, the seller does not have to agree to any repairs or even lower the purchase price. But it doesn't mean you can't ask. In most cases, it is in the seller's best interest to deal with these issues now because they will come to light again. For some reason, if the seller flat refuses to work with you, you can back out of your contract and get your earnest money refunded. Just make sure that you have stayed within your contractual timeline period. If you're financing your new home, you'll have to go through the mortgage application and approval process. Your lender should have already given you a list of documents you'll need to get this process started. Your lender should also provide you with a loan estimate showing your terms, your closing costs, and an estimated monthly payment. Hopefully you had these preliminary documents into your lender already when you were pre-approved in order to speed up this portion of the timeline. While your lender is preparing your file for the first round of underwriting, your appraisal will be ordered. Most lenders will request an appraisal to determine the home's value, and as buyer, you are typically paying this appraisal fee. The goal is for the appraiser to value your home for at least as much as your agreed upon purchase price. If your appraised value comes in low, you may need to renegotiate your purchase price with the seller. Your lender will only approve up to the appraised amount. Your next step is to get a homeowner's insurance quote. Not all homeowner's insurance rates are the same. Shop around, get at least three quotes. Ask your realtor to help you. They can provide you a list of some reputable insurance brokers to get the call. Just make sure that you're comparing rates with the same coverage. Also, you may want to check with who you have your car insurance through. Sometimes they offer discount bundles. Once your loan is approved, your lender will notify you that you have clear to close Woohoo! This means you have completed all the mortgage requirements and you are almost to the finish line. The escrow or title agent will now contact you to schedule a time for closing and also tell you what you need to bring to the closing table. This may include wiring instructions and closing disclosures. Review these with your realtor or with your attorney if you have one. It's closing day and there's only one more task before we sit down to sign. Right before your scheduled closing, we're going to do a final walkthrough of your home. This is not a formal license inspection thing. This is just to be reassured that the home remains as we know it and that all the things in the home are remaining in the home. Nothing's been removed per your purchase contract. It's been about 30 days now and your final step is to sign your paperwork. And if you're financing, be prepared to sign a lot. Some closing packages can be up to 100 pages long. Your closing agent will summarize all these pages for you. However, there's one key thing that you need to ensure that is correct, and that's your interest rate and the fact that there is no prepayment penalty. Your realtor should be at your side the whole time. If not, bring your attorney if you're unsure about translating all the legal ease. After all the signing's been done and the lenders received all their closing funds, you're handed your keys. Congratulations, you did it. You are now a homeowner. Woohoo! No two closings are alike, and we've just discussed the basics here. 
but making sure that you have experienced representation that can head off potential problems before they happen is the key to a smooth closing. And really, the hardest part is the waiting. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button and make sure that you hit that little bell too. I put out a new video each and every week and you're not going to want to miss a thing. And until then, I'll see you on the next one.